Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. Uh, not so much about the program or software itself, but more about that Motion VFX are bringing their plugins for the iPad version. Uh, if you've been watching this channel before you would know that I have done a lot of tutorials and talking a lot about Motion VFX and all of those presets and packs are now available if you have them to download and use them on your iPad as well. It's pretty forward to download. All you need to do is to go into the App Store and get the M installer. Install that and then you can log into your account and we can have a look at how that looks here. So let's just log into the account. And when you take a look at your account, you can see you have all of the packs you downloaded and you have these exclamation marks. And it's just that some of the effects are not quite working yet. This is what you're going to do the first time you're going to install a pack. You can see here on the graphics how you're going to install it and what the folders to select. And that's how you do it. After you've installed all of your plugins, you can now jump right into DaVinci Resolve and have a look at how they work. And here we are in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And to find all of your effects, you simply just need to go up to your effects and just scroll down. Here we have all of the different effects for Motion VFX and I have a lot of them, but let's just try one of them out. Let's find one here. Let's take this one from the Matrix pack, which is a free pack, by the way. We're going to take this transition effect right here. And I'm just going to drag that right onto my clip here. And uh, let's have a look here. So as you see, it runs pretty smoothly on the iPad. Just keep in mind that I am actually also doing a screen recording at the same time. And that's taking a little bit of the power of the iPad out here but it runs really well. So that's pretty good. So let's just go to our next clip. So if you want to add in, for instance, titles, you just go under titles and there is titles and effects here for motion VFX, but let's just uh, see if we can find something interesting. Let's just scroll down here and uh, let's take a title of some sort. Let's see if we have one we like. There is so many titles here to choose from because I have a lot of packs. But uh, anyway, let's just take uh, let's take um, this title right here. I'm just going to drag that right on here, and there we have the title. And you can see that runs pretty smooth. Of course, we can, as always, by selecting the clip and going up to the inspector, change all of the different parameters. So if we go into the content control, we can align the text, we can move it, zoom it, and all of these things as you would do on the regular version of the image resolve. Also, we can go into the text control and here we can change the text. I'm just going to pop up my keyboard here on the iPad. I'm going to erase a little bit of the text here and I'm just going to write a new text like that, uh, the VR. Okay, and then we are just going to close down our keyboard and uh, let's have a look here how that looks. Let's see, I'll just go back here and here we have that effect. It runs very well and of course we could customize this even more if we wanted to. So that was a look at Motion VFX for the iPad. Um, and I think it's great that they brought this over. So if you already have some of the plugins, you can start using them. If you don't have any of the plugins, there are some free ones which are quite great. You can use my link down in the description below to go there and get those. Also remember you can have a look at my free site which is resources for content creators or filmmakers. Have a look at that and there are some tutorials in there and stuff which you might find helpful. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.